Yeah, my name's Daisy Harris. Um, I'm studying Masters Film Production at the University of Salford. So I really uh, felt that after my, my undergraduate degree, I studied drama at the University of Manchester. I really felt like uh, I knew I wanted to work in the film industry, but I felt like I needed more practical training and I needed a bit more experience. And I kind of wanted to, to understand more where I might want to specialise because I kind of felt like I wanted to do everything. Um, but I also really wanted to stay in Manchester. So I was looking for anything that would let me kind of stay in the flat that I live in um, and I could just commute. Um, and a friend of mine uh, had just done the course that I'm doing now and was like, yeah, it's great. And uh, it's in Media City. And I instantly was like, this is fantastic because I really want to work in TV. So, you know, I can maybe get my foot in the door and get some connections going there. Um, so I, yeah, I applied for the Salford one and um, I got in. I would say it feels it feels noticeably different. I feel like you think when you're an undergraduate, you think I'm an adult, I'm in the adult world, but it's it's more like that when you're a master's student. People have less patience for you, I think, um, which is good in a lot of ways because you have to you know do a lot more growing up and um, you have less money. There's less funding for master's degrees, um, and you're kind of expected to work harder with less time. So uh, quite often with master's degrees, you have to work, as I did, you have to work a part-time job to support yourself. And, uh, you, but you'll also be expected to do master's level work, which is really difficult. So you can kind of have less of a work-life balance. Um, and it can also be a little bit lonelier. You're usually in a smaller cohort, so you might not click with anyone right away. Um, but I've been lucky that I really like everyone in my course as well. Hopefully having this qualification will kind of uh, signal to, to future employers that I'm not just kind of coming at it from an untrained standpoint. I have, you know, I've had training with cameras, I've had training with sound, I've had training with editing, writing. Um, and I'm hoping that having that experience under my belt will make me a good fit for a working environment, for like a film, a film set or for a writer's room, which is ideally where I'd like to end up. Um, and I think that working so close to Media City is a big advantage as well because uh, a lot of our lecturers are actually also work in Media City at the BBC or ITV so we get to ask them questions um, for advice. I've made connections and already started building some sort of network through that as well so that's been really helpful because networking is kind of everything when you want to work in the media. Okay, my number one piece of advice would be make sure you have funding in place. Doing a master's is expensive. You get less funding from student loans, um, so it will, will probably cover your tuition fees or most of them, but maybe not all of them, and it, you won't have left, much left over to live off. So make sure you have savings or do what I wish I'd now done. Take a year out, work and save up. Um, at one point I was working three part-time jobs to support myself while studying my masters and I got really badly burned out and I wish I hadn't put myself through that. So yeah, make sure you have funding in place. My second tip is to do your research really thoroughly. Um, don't just say yes to the first acceptance that you get because chances are if you've been accepted onto one masters you can get accepted onto others. So keep your options wide open. Make sure you speak to lots of different people who have been on the course. Find out where they are now, what they're doing. Make sure that you get a whole perspective of it. Um, and thirdly, stay in touch with your friends from undergrad. I'm really lucky that all my closest friends from my undergraduate degree have stayed in Manchester so I can see them in person regularly because the likelihood is you will make good friends on your master's course, but it might not come as quickly because as I said, it's a smaller cohort. You might not click with anyone right away. In Manchester, I do like live music. Um, I'm kind of part of an open mic circuit and I play gigs as well. Um, and I release music under my own name. And uh, in Scotland, where I'm from, I'm working for the Scottish CND as a volunteer um, and I make films for their social media. The University of Salford's filmmaking campus is actually on Media City, um, in Media City even. And um, 
ITV and the BBC have been known to use our equipment and use our studios. We've got industry standard kit and they're right next door. There's always crews filming in the area so you can go out and see what they're doing. Um, there might be experience, you know, uh, they might be looking for students to be runners on some of their projects. Um, and it's also just a great place to get to know a filming environment. For example, when you're in Media City, you have to have a permit to film. So you have to go to the permit office and get that out. Um, and you're kind of working shoulder to shoulder with some of the best professionals in the industry. So that's really incredible.